Okay, so let's check this one out. Um, the givens are there on the left, the top left. The distance is 10.0 kilometers. Uh, the velocity that she's running is 7.5 miles per hour, and we're looking for that time in minutes. In order to do this problem, which is a conversion of kilometers to minutes, is uh, you need those two conversion factors up at the top of the page, that uh, one kilometer equals point six two one miles and 60 minutes equals one hour so um, all you're really doing like we mentioned was converting kilometers to minutes and you've just got to organize the conversion factors that you have in an appropriate way to do that conversion so you start with your 10 kilometers put that in the numerator and multiply that by your first conversion factor but you got to put the kilometer units in the bottom and of course the the number that goes along with those kilometer units is one and then uh, the appropriate miles is 0 0.621 up in the, no the numerator that cancels the kilometers out and then well we don't want any sort of distance so we've got to cancel those miles out too and so you just look around for something that can be used as a conversion factor and you see that the velocity there is really 7.5 miles equals one hour per one hour. So you can use that as a conversion factor, just flip it over, and that'll cancel your miles out, putting the 7.5 miles in the, the denominator there. Okay, and um, now you're left with hours as your units, uh, but you don't want hours, you want minutes. So you're going to use your Last conversion factor, put in minutes on top and the hours in the bottom, and that cancels those out. And the calculator gives you that number that I've written there, 49.68 minutes. Um, but of course, you're going to have to use your significant figure rules. Um, and so if we go back and we look at the givens from the problem, 7.5 uh, miles per hour is the one with the, the number with the least significant uh, figures and we're only multiplying and dividing in this problem so we've got to go down to that number and that's two right so we're gonna round to 50 there but in order to make sure that we're indicating that that zero is significant we got to put that decimal point afterwards so it's five zero dot minutes okay and don't forget those units because that's gonna affect your grade as well okay good job